they were reacting to a huge update on EDP 445 from bad to worse. All right, so last week, this video has been buzzing on the timeline. I see like everybody's been reacting to it. I hadn't got around to it yet. I hadn't got around to seeing it yet. I hope it's not what I think it is, but since the internet has been buzzing about it, I thought the EDP situation was laid to rest because, okay, he was going to start his own website, life go on. But this is from bad to worse. Please don't tell me this is what I'm thinking it is. ADP445 no. has been fired from three different jobs Applied, over the last couple where's of years. All right, bro, that's got to be made up. Especially not just what he did, but can you imagine someone of EDP like EDP working for Chuck E. Cheese. I'm not saying his whole uh, cupcake scandal, even pre-cupcake scandal. Could you see this dude working at Chick-fil-A? I could not. Like, that Weeks would be wild. As a result of people exposing his employment oh, yo, to yo, TikTok. That looks like, oh, he's an Uber driver too? Bro, just imagine if EDP comes to pick you up. What are you doing? Are you going to get in the car, especially now that you know who EDP is? And I'm talking about right now. I ain't talking about... This one isn't pre. I'm talking about right now. Would you get an EDP car? I don't think so. Not even me. I want to feel safe. He's apparently completely out of money and as a result has been evicted from a few different Damn. properties and he's now living out of a suitcase in a couple of unconventional crappy locations. However, the craziest update in the EDP 445 tragedy is that only three weeks ago, according to one of his former YouTube buddies by the name of Felipe, the big man himself has actually been put behind bars. This is the um, Henderson, Nevada Detention Center. Inmate Brian Moreland would like to receive the call. And I said, I said, yes. Things have gotten so bad bad for EDP that right now as we speak he's applying to have his name to get his name changed ain't getting your name changed costs a lot of money don't it but yeah dude's gonna have to do more than get a, a name change definitely like he's spottable like if you see EDP you gonna know that's him he gonna have to do more than change. Change. Sorry. However, in a world of tit for tat where you unavoidably reap what you sow it's hard so to sad, say that this punishment is undeserved yeah sad case that it but you deserve everything coming your way because you you went out your way, went there. You got not only not only you went there, but the reason they baited you is because rumors been going on about you messaging underage kids for a while. And it ain't like I'm not talking about this is some 18 year old dude talking to some 15, 16 year old. He's 30 talking to. Not an 18 year old, not a 17 year old even. He's 30 with t trying to seek it after 13 year olds, bro. You're 30, bro. And then you try to use loneliness, loneliness as an excuse, bro. You're a clouded YouTuber. You're a clouded YouTuber. Somebody's gonna, somebody's gonna wanna come your way. And in this video, you'll see how bad things can truly become if you plant weeds in your garden as opposed to flowers. To what extent should a person's life be ruined for the mistakes made in their own- Two, two, two L mans in one video. Shaking my head. I f the only person I really feel bad for in this whole situation is the, is the dude that was with that came up with him. Because apparently they didn't know each other beforehand. So it's like the CC unit guy, he didn't really know Chet Goldstein like that. So it's like- but it's like, you know, let's tackle this situation together because we in the same field. That's the only person. Yeah, he, he yeah, sure. He was like the annoying little brother and all of this. But I kind of feel bad for the guy. Past. At what point, if ever, should ADP 445 I'm talking about CC unit, by the way. I don't feel decisions. bad for Chet. Does ADP 445's work completed prior to his cancellation hold any residual value? No. Or was it rendered it completely and utterly anymore. useless from the second he showed up to that cursed Bakersfield motel? We asked this last question because prior to the 18th of April 2021, things were actually going reasonably well for ADP 445. Yeah. If you look at his social people blade graph, flight, you'll see he gained... People, it's crazy. People are saying flight and EDP both carry 2020. Then 2021 happened. 520,000 subscribers over the course of two months in April and May of 2020. People loved him because he was one of the last few YouTubers who had absolutely no filter. He was unconcerned wow. about ad revenue and therefore swore like a trooper while tackling some of the most crass yet hilarious topics. EDP 445's unconventional I mean, mind was always spoken. I used spoken. to watch him a little bit. 
I feel like his fan base was more so kids. Like, ha! This guy just says whatever is on his mind. He's funny. Like, yeah, sure. He was like one of the, to me, he was one of the last few YouTubers with no filter. That was his appeal. But I feel like that edginess to me, it runs out after a while. So it's like, at first I was like, okay, funny guy, funny guy. But then it's like, I only watched him for the memes. Because I knew about him before he got this big time clout that he had. And honestly, so he stood out as unique. It's not surprising either. In a world where everyone else online is always walking on eggshells, yeah, trying not to offend anyone, EDP 445's brash attitude and unapologetic approach to life was somewhat refreshing for those who saw the world in a similar way. However, of course, such an approach wasn't without controversy. In 2017, as a result of his unconventional content, he'd be banned from YouTube for a period of two weeks, while Twitter was a little harsher, placing a ban on his main EDP 445 account permanently. Additionally, after after hitting 1 million subscribers in early 2020, YouTube refused Twitter, to send though. EDP a gold play button, stating that the channel didn't match their eligibility I remember criteria. this too, and he got a because custom according 1 million to them, my channel doesn't match the criteria. I'm like, my channel has zero community guideline strikes. It has zero copyright strikes. EDP would gain support from other large YouTubers, such as some ordinary gamers, who stated that the refusal was stupid. YouTube, can you just give this dude his play button? If he doesn't get his play button, I'ma buy him his play button. While EDP was also made a custom YouTube play button by a fan of the channel, displaying the love and support he and had I know from that the community fan feel at the bad time. Now. However, perhaps YouTube and Twitter were able to see something objective objectively that those who loved and supported him could not. They might have seen that a man with such an unfiltered mind may have also been hiding some dirty skeletons in the closet and correct is what they would eventually be. On the 18th of April 2021, they saw it coming, they saw it coming this day and third. Bro, I did it. I was like shocked. It's like bro, like it when when the news came out, I remember the whole controversy like him being accused. I wasn't watching him at the time, so then when the whole situation with him going actually going there, I was like, dang, yikes. I was caught in 4K on his way to pick caught up a in cupcake. 4K. The topic yep. was covered by almost everyone in the commentary community. I'm sure by now many of you have at least heard of the EDP 445 situation. Creators who supported him in the past, such as some ordinary gamers, would upload a video titled EDP 445 needs to be arrested immediately. Why has EDP been dropping hard? Because EDP is an individual that actually got Chris Hansen. And after it was revealed that a similar situation had occurred as many as eight times prior, many considered EDP unforgivable eight in his times. life with Subsequently descend like into a state of chaos, what you might call the beginning of the end. In the seven days following the X, yeah, I remember after that video dropped, would lose two. But see, here's the thing about all of that. Almost look 10. at it. Look at it like this. Yes, he's losing all these subscribers, and look right here. He's gaining all these views in that time span. YouTubers don't get paid for how many subscribers they have. They get paid for the view. And right here is this is where the, he started deleting videos like because you don't lose you don't minus all those views like he uh deleted a lot of videos before YouTube eventually took it down his whole channel down percent of his entire count. However, how many followers he lost initially didn't actually matter. Because <laughs> yeah, seven he was days like at later, 3 million and got down to like 2 million. subscribers would disappear entirely after YouTube decided to ban his account altogether. At the time of his banning, EDP was exactly 30 years old and had been creating content since 2010 when he was 19 years old. Dang, so he was on YouTube for a long time. million man. views deleted in the he process meant YouTube that his entire portfolio for a whole 11 years, bro. Almost 11 years at the time, like bro. People don't realize how hard it is to be on YouTube that long. And you want to go and you threw it all the way behind a cupcake. And, and you should have known something was weird about that situation anyway. Anyway, like, who's going, yeah, come see me for a cupcake. I'm a big fa fan. I want to give, I want to bake you a cupcake. No, people's not doing that. And even if they are, I'm, I'm going to be, such, I'm not just worried, not talking about the age either. They could tell me. They're my age. My first thought process, honestly, this person is trying to drug me. Like, you randomly hit me up out the blue for a cupcake. Randomly. 
in his 20s, 10 plus years worth of labor was Crazy. wiped out. Do it look the exact overnight. same. One back mistake in the day was all it took for YouTube to decide that EDP 445 no longer deserved either his celebrity status or any kind of record relating to any of his work <laughs> completed in the past. Another method that EDP had for you know, remember the cameos was too. cameo. You could order a personalized about video cameos, and get EDP. Because, like, honestly, me, if I got big enough, I'd personally do it. it. Like, it'll sound cool, a last name impression, like, huh? This guy, but at the same time, most people only hit you up for a cameo to shout them out. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I mean, I'm on. I'm, DP I'm to say anything you instructed him to for the low price of $44. However, following the infamous cupcake event, Cameo would be contacted by numerous individuals who would receive responses along the lines of, hey there, thank you for reaching out. Our team is aware Wait, of the allegations and are actively investigating this. I know a lot of people would ask to them to do kindly later. Less than a week later, EDP 445's Cameo As account was deleted. Another income stream had gone up in smoke. EDP 445 then attempted to switch yep. to Facebook. However, after gaining 6,000 oh, because be I, th platform. I thought he was, I was like okay this dude is on Facebook now nah, I thought that's where it would've, everything would have because but, but he's not really telling the timeline that much but it's like in there it's like it meant some kind of like I think it was like some kind of like dry like two months then he popped up out of the blue on Facebook we're making our own website these clout chasers bro like I'm still gonna get my bag you know he was on that type of wavelength but it's like hmm I feel like and then he was trying to say like people was clout yeah sure some people was making videos edp's in edp's last words before he go to jail insert old video yeah those people yeah they click clickbait and trying to clout chase the whole situation but like the people that explode exposed you nah this is information that had to come out just hate that it had it was the same story that over on instagram his main account was terminated at which point edp was likely coming to terms with the harsh reality of his cancellation however just before his facebook was deleted he'd make one final interesting announcement he planned on making his own website to which he would continue yeah, posting videos that? edp 445 announced over on facebook that he will be making his grand return to the internet with his own website to return to his old video type i guess this one let you guys know man edp445.com um, it's yeah, and he soon. didn't learn been, nothing been about, about the whole like a situation. Week, maybe either. two weeks from now. EDP four four five seemingly got to the point of fully building the website, as discussed by Tipster here on YouTube. It still says coming soon. Still says today's date. It does look like EDP is actually serious about this whole launching a website thing. However, after an apparent falling he out, had a with falling his website out developer. With, okay, I was about to just pause and ask what happened, but Chipotle bathroom as well. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, would y'all make the website like honestly tell the truth in the comments? Like, if y'all knew how to make develop websites, and he uh was gonna char he was gonna pay you to us uh, x amount of dollars because I don't know how much it costs to make a website. He was gonna pay y'all a good pr cut to make him a website, and he was gonna keep you on the low. Like he wasn't gonna get on camera and tell who you are or none of that. Would you make the website for him? Honest answers only. Like, if you in desperate need of money, would you do it? As mentioned in a Reddit comment, the launch seemed to fail. Update, the website is now returning an error 500. So it looks like he's been having a little bit of trouble launching the site, hasn't been working so well for him. And to this day, the page remains as an unlaunched inactive website. In in spite of how much of a scumbag right, EDP 445 That's what I'm saying. It's was. like he yeah. didn't learn nothing from the situation. He's memeing it by eating a cupcake. Bro, this is why you canceled now. Honestly, I should have said this in the beginning. This is one of the few times somebody got canceled. And it's like, there's no defending it. Like, Travis Scott. It's like you, the argument of, oh, it's not his fault. Yeah, it kind of wasn't his fault in that situation. The baby. It's like, the baby. He was wilding what he said on stage at Rolling Rolling Loud. It's like, bro, you're doing too much. So it's like people was kind of canceled in the man. And some people was like, okay, he's wilding, but I'm not going to cancel him. And it's like other people, they don't get fully canceled. This is an example of what it feels like to be canceled. And he deserved every bit of it.
Let's be real. I have to give him credit for sheer determination because he then began to upload videos on another third party website called Three Speak TV, where his account would be met with the same fate. It was banned. He wrote, for some reason, my channel was deleted. I don't have a clue what's going on. How did you I get didn't violate to any email. guideline. Can you please tell me what's going on? EDP. After this ban, it seemed as though EDP 445 was slowly getting the message from each and every website. His career on the internet was finished. However, the internet wasn't finished with ending his career. Rich from Review Tech USA would state that he might be able to get a job working somewhere like Starbucks. However, it was only going to be so long before the trolls, trolls? would come and inform them of his past. But I don't even know if you could get a damn job at Starbucks and keep it because you know the trolls are going to come trolls? after you and say, oh yeah, nah. that guy you just hired, I wouldn't keep him employed. You'd probably lose a job at that coffee shop too real quick. Yeah, he Rich needs to do something correct. that, he would have to do something that wouldn't involve him having to show his face that's not going to check his background. Try to think, what could he possibly do? Become an editor, become a designer for somebody. And just make a whole new burner account where they don't have to know it's you. Go buy a different name on it. You got edit for some people, make thumbnails for some people. You can't, because any job, they're gonna, they're gonna look at your background. Any No platform is gonna allow you being you on it. Uh. I'm about to say a call center, maybe like a work from home call center type job. But even they, I think they check your background. So it's like, I don't know what this dude could do at this point. Probably going to prison would be his best option. He's going to have in this statement. EDP 445 moved from Bakersfield, California to Henderson, Nevada following the expose. He moved one state over. Let me look this up. Like how Baker's. Bakers Field, California to about where is it Henderson cause that's such a ra uh, yeah sure it's a random part of Nevada but if he wanna okay 4 hours and 24 so pretty much uh, 4 hours and a half you, you'd have to go across country to like you to one of those unknown states like uh, Wyoming or something. You would want to go somewhere like Montana, maybe. Like you, you, you don't want to move like one state over, bro. Day where it seemed as though he managed to land a job as a lift driver. In oh, he was a lift driver, not Uber. Okay. However, this job would be fairly short lived, as a video posted to TikTok by a user called Lennon Jimenez you know, you would expose him to crazy to get his lift profile. Bro, and he went, went from one to what is this profile picture, bro? But yeah, you gotta, most times than not, you gotta do something serious to get banned from Uber or Lyft. But, you know, they're not gonna allow somebody like this drop, like, that has been accused, or actually, in this case, not accused, actually go through with this on their platform. So, cupcakes to driving for Lyft. And his position as a driver would subsequently be removed by the company. The situation would promote Reddit discussion with one post stating EDP as a Lyft driver, how the mighty have fallen, which received comments such as, can you take me to the grocery store? I'm gonna go buy some cupcakes. <laughs> and I hope he doesn't go on any food delivery apps. MF would eat my fries and I'd have missing slices of pizza. However, somewhat hilariously, it was revealed shortly thereafter that EDP had in fact been driving for both Uber Eats and Grubhub, which would that? also both fire him after finding out about the drama. He was driving Lyft, he was driving for Grubhub and Uber Eats, and all three of those companies Cut fired him. According to a very basic unconfirmed source, EDP also apparently applied a Chuck E. Cheese, believe that. but for obvious I, reasons that was didn't intro. seem to get the that. position. EDP 445 no longer had the ability to make money online or in real life as this revealed, unless he were to find some extremely low skill niche job where they wouldn't check his name online and where he wouldn't have to interact with any customers yeah, and who might expose him to whichever company he might like be working for. With so many obstacles in the way of finding even the most basic of jobs, it's hardly surprising to find out that EDP has been attempting to change his name legally. Yeah, the application was... shown on screen states that Bryant Morland- It costs 200, I thought it was more than that to change your name. Well, most people don't change their name. It's like, yeah, you 
$270. Wow, Applied for a name change with the Nevada County Court on the 21st of October 2021. The strange part about this is that when you try and but search the court register from the Reddit post state. by typing in his name, Bryant Moreland, it now states that there are no results found, possibly indicating that EDP 445's name change has been right. successful and he's no longer known as Bryant Moreland. As you can see, I did type in his name, Moreland Bryant. Submit. No results found. However, the problem with this, as outlined by the EDP 445 subreddit, is that he's not exactly hard to spot. This oh. idiot thinks this will fix anything, Lameo. He will be spotted everywhere no matter his name. He should flee yeah. to Cuba or something like this. Changing his name isn't a good idea since it's gonna get leaked anyways. What good does changing a name do when you're as easily recognizable as him? <laughs> he needs to lose hundreds of pounds and get a hair transplant. Perhaps the goal is to have his name hidden for long enough in order to get a job, as other sources state that he's been unsurprisingly struggling with money. He's broke. Like, YouTube made him so money, you but after ain't having really that, he All got, the money, like, I know he didn't make crazy quick. money because somebody of his status CPMs were low because like the the types of videos that he would make. Um, you mean to tell me that this dude didn't really? It, it, matter of fact, what he could do become an investor. I'm pretty sure he could invest whatever amount of money he got left into investing in like crypto and all, like just investing in general. That's just me. A user by the name of Master at Work, who was one of the people trying to expose EDP all the way back in 2020, stated in October that EDP had less than three. Well, how would you know that? Cash left how would you know that? Plus two cars and a couple of other things that he might be able to sell. The only income that he has, other than the 3,300 that he has left in his bank account, is maybe the 40 oh, grand the in weapons and the, the two cars that, that he bro? owns. However, in the two months since October, users on Reddit used his car's license plate to confirm that EDP 445 has sold one of his cars, possibly indicating indicating that his cash stack has dwindled even further. In the same well, live stream during which Master at Work would discuss EDP's financial situation, it also mentioned that EDP had been evicted from his apartment complex as the property owner received numerous complaints about having him as a tenant. Call up Spur Apartments and verify for yourself. That's a nice um, EDP will no longer be living at Spur Apartments. The reason why he got evicted is because of cons constant harassment the property owner has been getting. Since then, EDP has been living out of a suitcase at various hotels. However, even then, his detractors have been going around trying to get him kicked out of wherever he happens to be Dang, staying. That must suck. Any... Same dude with the tattoo on his face. Yeah. That must suck everywhere every hotel you turn to. Hey, we got reports that you're 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 not safe to be here. You gotta go. We gotta pack you up. Like, at some point it's like, oh boy, here we go again. Like you I'm not saying at but and at the same time, at what point does this person like you know, focus on himself. Yeah. Because okay, it's so crazy. Yeah. It's getting wild. I will Everywhere be, he be goes. more than happy to let them know. Thank you very much. EDP's detractors have made his life such a living hell that if anything, an arrest or a short stint in prison would almost make his circumstances more comfortable. I, I was just about to say that earlier, but I took it back because you know, you know what they do to those type of people back there, bro. Like they, the, messing around with kids, that's, uh, that's something they we'll don't preface this part by stating that there have been numerous accounts of EDP being arrested. However, they never seem to have any rock solid proof to go along with it. So take everything said in the next section with a grain of salt. In late October, a YouTuber by the name of Matt Simon seemed confident that EDP had been arrested. Yet I mean, no this the same dude that's been following him around. Arrest. EDP has been arrested. Today is but at the October same time, I don't 25th. know. I don't it is 11:30 at night. Does this and EDP does this, has been I don't arrested know. today? Does he was like actually arrested it. today. You, 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 oh, but oh, it was. I don't know what he was arrested for. This claim clearly lacks credibility. People in the comments requested evidence, to which there seems to be yeah. none. However, a former friend of EDP 445 by the name of Felipe claims to have some stronger evidence pertaining to the potential arrest of EDP 445. So Less than a month ago, on the 3rd of December 2021, he'd upload a video titled, Is EDP 445 in Jail? In this video, Felipe explained that while out having dinner, he'd get a call from a private number stating that it was EDP 445 who was being held at the Henderson, Nevada Detention Center. So the third time I picked up, um, I was like, you know, hello? And it said, uh, this is uh, the Henderson, Nevada uh, Detention Center inmate for for Brian Moreland. Would you like to receive the, the call? And I like hung up, you know, and then called again. And the same, the same thing happened, you know, would you like to receive a call? So 
I pre I said yes because I was like, you know, I was just curious to see, like, holy sh like, he got arrested, like, like, wow, you know? The issue is the only evidence that he's able to provide is for no caller ID calls on his iPhone, which I mean, isn't exactly rock solid evidence to say the least, and Felipe's character is suspect at best. He only gets views when he talks about yeah, ADP yeah. 44. The closest thing, meter 69 at Santa Monica, 2.6K, EDP 5, I mean, 57k 13k eagles videos hundreds of views yeah five and it without adp like on the internet to defend himself anyone can say anything True. additionally yeah. if adp did successfully they could actually say he October actually found November, somebody else mentioned previously him. this would yeah, prove the story to be himself. fake as the guy states that it was bryant morland on the other end of the phone one comment stated looked up every inmate record in clark county which is where henderson is kern county which is where bakersfield is and manatee county which is where bradenton florida is which said that he was connected to online no bryant morland is in any of those prisons in the end it doesn't really matter whether or not he's in actual prison as it's safe to say that edp is a man who made a mistake so bad that yeah, even his outside life is of basically concrete prison, prison walls prison he barely had yeah everywhere he go he can't stay can't get a job because nobody's going to accept him he can't even live nowhere without getting harassed so i was like yeah sure he's gonna have a for sure place to sleep and eat every day but they don't play about that stuff like what what do you be as a drop of freedom but hey w video oh i clicked on another video by mistake but yeah definitely a w video please be sure to like comment subscribe share the video roll 200 subscribers original link will be in the description and i'm out peace